Welcome, dear viewers, to our captivating video series about the history of great automotive brands. Today, we embark on an exhilarating journey into the past to tell the story of a brand that changed the world of the automotive industry. It has become a symbol of innovation, quality, and unparalleled energy, that's Ford. Created in unique times and playing a key role in the history of transportation, Ford embodies the spirit of cutting-edge technologies and bold decisions. Let's delve into the fascinating world of this legendary brand and discover what made it an icon of the automotive industry. Ford Motor Company, an American automotive corporation, was established in 1903 by Henry Ford and 11 investors. Emerging during the American Industrial Revolution, Ford Motor Company transformed the automotive industry by introducing mass-produced vehicles affordable to the masses and pioneering the moving assembly line, revolutionizing global manufacturing. Based in Dearborn, Michigan, Ford, along with brands like Lincoln and the discontinued Mercury 2011, remains a leading automotive brand globally. Despite economic challenges and evolving consumer preferences, Ford Motor Company has demonstrated resilience. Ford's historical contributions, first, the moving assembly line. Ford's innovation streamlined production, reduced costs, and enabled efficient mass production, transforming manufacturing. Second, the Model T. Ford's Model T, the first affordable car for the average American, revolutionized transportation, democratized vehicle ownership, and fostered a mobile society, expanding social and commercial opportunities. Job creation and economic impact. Ford's mass production methods rapidly led to the creation of jobs, surpassing 100,000 in 1923 and peaking at 256,000 in the late 1970s. This provided extensive opportunities, especially for unskilled laborers. Ford's introduction of the $5 daily wage policy in 1914 played a pivotal role in establishing the American middle class. America's newfound mobility transformed various aspects of life, with easy travel and expanded commerce leading to the growth of residential and business areas beyond urban centers, broadening American society's geographical reach. Innovations in automotive technology Throughout most of the 20th century, Ford remained a leader in automotive innovation. However, by the end of the century, intense foreign competition, notably from Japan, and economic challenges threatened Ford's market position. To counter these challenges, Ford strategically shifted its production focus. In the 1980s and 1990s, it prioritized designing and manufacturing fuel-efficient vehicles. From the late 2000s, Ford expanded its focus to include environmentally sustainable and smart products, leading to the development of hybrid, electric, and self-driving vehicles. Founding and Ownership History Established in 1903 by Henry Ford & Associates, Ford Motor Company was reincorporated in 1919, with full ownership acquired by Henry Ford, his wife Clara, and their son Edsel. They, along with their heirs and the Ford Foundation formed in 1936, were sole stockholders until January 1956, when the common stock was first offered to the public. 1903-1919, the Model T and the moving assembly line. Henry Ford constructed his initial experimental car in a workshop behind his Detroit home in 1896. After founding the company in 1903, the first Ford car, the original Model A, was assembled at the Mack Avenue plant in July of the same year. It wasn't until five years later, in 1908, that the highly successful Model T was introduced. The demand for this car was so immense that Ford devised new mass production methods to manufacture it in adequate quantities. Concurrently, Ford opened its inaugural international sales branch in Paris. In 1911, the company established the industry's premier U.S. branch assembly plant in Kansas City, Missouri, and inaugurated its inaugural overseas production plant in Manchester, England. Crucially, Ford introduced the world's first moving assembly line for cars in 1913. This groundbreaking manufacturing process reshaped both the automobile industry and American business at large. Assembly line production enabled the price of the Model T Touring car to drop to less than $300 in 1925, equivalent to approximately four months' salary for an average wage, from $850 in 1908, equivalent to roughly 18 months' salary for an average wage. By mid, 1914, there were over 500,000 Model TS on the world's roads. However, this innovation also presented challenges. The repetitive nature and physical strain of assembly line tasks contributed to high turnover rates among workers. In a bid to enhance labor productivity, Ford introduced the $5 daily wage for an 8-hour day in 1914, replacing the previous $2.34 for a 9-hour day. 1920s, 1930s, new models and continued global expansion. By 1923, the company was responsible for producing over half of America's automobiles, marking a significant milestone in automotive history. Throughout the decade, Ford's global footprint expanded significantly. By the late 1920s, the company had established over 20 overseas assembly plants across Europe, Latin America, Canada, Asia, South Africa, and Australia. 
Ford's domestic and international growth solidified its status as the world's most recognized car brand, with over 15 million Model TS manufactured. A notable shift occurred in 1927 with the cessation of Model T production and the introduction of the new Model A. Ford's commitment to innovation persisted with the debut of the first Ford V, 8-engine in 1932. A decade earlier, in 1922, Ford expanded its portfolio by acquiring the Lincoln Motor Company, established in 1917. This acquisition paved the way for Ford's luxury Lincolns, including its flagship Continental. In 1938, Ford introduced the first Mercury, a mid-price car position between standard Ford models and the higher-end Lincoln line. 1940s, 1960s, evolution of leadership and product expansion. Throughout the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, Ford continued its rapid expansion, witnessing changes in leadership, management, and ownership. As early as 1906, Henry Ford had acquired 58.5% of the company's stock. When other stockholders hesitated at the idea of constructing the giant and costly River Rouge plant in Dearborn, he bought them out, acquiring their shares to assume full control of the company. Henry Ford's son, Edsel Ford, 1893-1943, assumed the presidency in 1919. In 1942, Ford Motor Company shifted its production focus from civilian cars to manufacturing vehicles, aircraft, and tanks for the U.S. military during World War II. Following his son's passing in 1943, Henry Ford resumed the presidency but later passed the role to his grandson, Henry Ford II, in 1945. The younger Ford undertook a restructuring of the company's financial management system, revitalizing its corporate culture by bringing in talented younger managers. One notable figure was Robert McNamara, who briefly served as Ford's president before departing to become the U.S. Secretary of Defense in 1961. Under Henry Ford II's leadership, the company introduced successful models like the Thunderbird, 1954, and the Mustang, 1964. However, this period also saw the launch of the Edsel, model years 1958-60, a significant failure that led to the name Edsel becoming synonymous with failure. Henry Ford II served as CEO from 1945 to 1970 and as chairman of the board from 1960 to 1980. 1970s, 2000s, diversification and strategic acquisitions in the 1950s and 60s, Ford Motor Company initiated a phase of limited diversification highlighted by its acquisition of the electronics company Philco in 1961. However, by the 1990s, Ford refocused its attention on automotive concerns and financial services. This strategy continued into the late 20th century and was characterized by several significant acquisitions. A Jaguar, British luxury car manufacturer, 1989-90, a Aston Martin, British sports car manufacturer, 1993, Hertz Corporation, American car rental company, 1994, Volvo, automobile division of the Swedish manufacturer. 1999, the Land Rover, sport utility vehicle brand purchased from BMW, 2000. Additionally, Ford increased its stake in Mazda Motor Corporation to 33.4% in 1996. The 1970s and 1980s witnessed a downturn in American automotive production. The OPEC oil shock of 1973-74, along with a decade of inflation, led to a surge in demand for smaller, fuel-efficient vehicles compared to the gas guzzlers produced by the big three automakers in the U.S., including Ford. During the 1980s, Japanese car manufacturers gained traction in the U.S. market, posing a significant challenge to domestic producers. Japanese vehicles, known for their greater fuel efficiency and affordability, captured up to 22% of the total vehicle sales in the U.S., thanks to various production and exchange rate advantages. Facing competition from Japanese imports and enduring financial difficulties into the 1990s, Ford, along with Chrysler and General Motors, shifted their strategy to produce vehicles that matched the fuel efficiency and quality of Japanese imports. 2000 to 2008. Navigating the Great Recession struggling in the early 21st century, Ford began divesting many of its acquisitions from the previous decade. In 2005, Ford sold Hertz, followed by the sale of Aston Martin in 2007. A pivotal moment for Ford, like many U.S. companies, was the financial crisis of 2008, also known as the Great Recession, which resulted in a sharp decline in vehicle sales and consumer spending overall. In 2008, Ford sold Jaguar and Land Rover to Tata Motors Limited of India. That same year, Ford began selling its shares in Mazda, completing the divestment from the automaker in 2015. In December 2008, U.S. President George W. Bush announced an emergency financial rescue plan aimed at supporting the big three automakers, Chrysler LLC, General Motors Corporation, GM, and Ford, in order to prevent the collapse of the struggling auto industry. The plan provided immediate access to $13.4 billion in government loans from the Troubled Asset Relief Program, TARP a $700 billion fund approved by Congress to assist the financial industry in the wake of the subprime mortgage crisis. From 2009 through the 2020s, Ford underwent a period of recovery, growth, and a shift towards hybrid and electric vehicle, EV, sustainability. The TARP loans enabled automakers to sustain operations until March 2009, 
when they were required to demonstrate financial viability or repay the funds. Initially, the loans were extended to GM and Chrysler, while Ford reportedly had sufficient funds to operate without immediate government assistance. However, both GM and Chrysler were mandated to undergo restructuring. Ford, able to avoid bankruptcy unlike its counterparts, experienced increased sales and market share in 2009. This growth was partly fueled by the federal government's Cash for Clunkers program, incentivizing consumers to trade in older vehicles for newer, fuel-efficient models. Implementing cost-cutting measures and focusing on stronger brands, Ford sold Volvo to Zhujiang Geely Holding of China in 2010 and discontinued its Mercury line shortly after. Amidst slowing sales, Ford sought to diversify its product offerings. In 2016, Ford Smart Mobility LLC was established to explore car-sharing ventures and develop self-driving vehicles. The following year, the company announced an expansion of its electric vehicle lineup. Recognizing shifting consumer preferences, Ford announced in 2018 its decision to phase out all passenger cars except the Mustang and Ford Focus Active, shifting focus towards pickups, SUVs, and crossover vehicles. In the early 2020s, Ford unveiled plans for an electrification and research and development initiative exceeding $50 billion by 2026. A major aspect of this strategy involves electrifying several existing models, including the Mustang Mach-E, F-150 Lightning, E-Transit, Electric Explorer, Electric Puma, E-Transit Custom, and E-Transit Courier. Additionally, the company aims to achieve a zero-carbon footprint by 2050. Since its inception in 1903, Ford Motor Company has remained a linchpin of the American automotive industry, pioneering mass production and manufacturing methods. Despite enduring economic crises, global competition, and technological advancements, Ford has consistently adapted its offerings to meet the changing demands of the global marketplace.